everybody absolutely must know the truth about Jesus Christ and why he came here. He didn't come here as a cheap excuse for people to keep on sinning and doing bad things, having their witch faith in them that, oh, he'll forgive you. Yeah, he will, but he'll also punish you. So you better put a break on your sins. What Jesus Christ did was come here to give us his name so that we could do all the things that he commands us to do, which are against our nature, that are impossible to do without calling on his name. As a result of actually asking him for help to do what he says, I can now trace over his left eye, this orange part is his left eye, his right eye, his nose, as it becomes really obvious, his blue nose here, his orange mouth, and his green beard. In this soccer ball, not just once, but quite a few times. Let me take off the paint. So I'm going to give him a little piece of lettuce here in his mouth. There we go. The thing is, he said that we will see him in an omnipresent way. In Luke 17, 24, he says, For the Son of Man in his day will be like the lightning, which flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other. That means omnipresent. That means we're going to be able to see him in everything. If it wasn't so obvious. And, you know, like you can see the lightning from one end of the sky to the other. That means his face is omnipresent. And that's what I'm showing you in this video. It's been hidden from us. It's been stolen from us. And I'm working on taking it back. And I hope that you can join me. Let's go to the next example here. And I'm going to trace over his left eye. Right here. This orange part. His left eye. That's amazing. When we actually do what he says and use the power of his name, he lives up to his word. Here's his right eye. And he lets us see him. You know, people who don't see him change it. And they're like, uh, I can see his work. And that's him. But it's not. This is his nose. He said we see him. Anybody can see his work. But people who actually do what he says get a pure heart, as Peter says, and as Jesus says, there's his mouth, and here's his beard, this green part, and look, he says, blessed are the pure in heart. they will see God and it is so true as I'm showing you here that's Matthew 5 8 by the way blessed are the pure in heart for they'll see God he also says that we'll see him before we die some of us will those who obey him as if it wasn't totally obvious. There's his left eye. Here's his right eye. Here's his nose. Oh, and his nose is green. <laughs> green nose. And his mouth is orange. Here. And his beard is blue. Here. And he says, and Matthew 16, 28, I tell you the truth. Some who are standing here will not taste death 
before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. That was 2,000 years ago. And I'm looking at him, and I'm not dead yet. Not. Taste. Death. Now people will say, what a false prophet. And I'll say, judge a tree by its fruit. Like, I'm motivating you to obey Jesus Christ. I'm showing you his omnipresent living face. I'm not stealing your faith by any means. So think about it before you open your mouth against this enlightenment. You're not doing yourself any good. Uh, so, you know, this is it. This is God's enlightenment. Here, you can see this is his blue eye here. Here's his other eye, it's orange here. And his nose is this outline here. Comes into his mouth. And this blue part down here is his beard. And, you know, he says really cut and dried that only those who see him Sorry, only those who obey him will see him. Uh, in John 14, 19, he says, Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me, because I live, you also will live. Yeah, the world won't see him. That would mean you who don't obey him. But people who obey him, and I'm motivating you to obey him, see him. It's really simple. Okay, obey and see him. He also says, John 14, 21, Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. So obey him and see him. Let me take the paint off. I'm going to give him a little piece of lettuce here. Here's some lettuce for you. See, crunch, crunch. <laughs> here we go again. Uh, I'm going to trace over his left eye right here. It's orange here, his left eye. His right eye is green. You see here, here's his green right eye. His nose is here. It's actually blue. Here. And his mouth is green. This is the living face of God, and it is everywhere. But you haven't seen it once, and that shows just how much you've looked for him. I'm telling you, you try to obey him for like two weeks. You get your stuff all straight, do exactly what he says. It was pretty much like two weeks after I started, maybe even one week. I've been seeing his face for like 12 years now. And, you know, like the apostles even confirmed it And 1 John 3, 6 says, no one who lives in him keeps on sinning. So you got to stop sinning. And John, sorry, 1 John 3, 6 says, no one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. You see, he makes a big distinction between seeing and knowing him. He uses two words there because he obviously was looking at him like me. Like I'm trying to share this beautiful, comforting gift with you. So, you have to stop sinning. Which is only possible if you call on the name of the blessed Son of God. Again, judge a tree by its fruit. I'm motivating you like you've never been motivated before 
to do what Jesus says. Plain and simple. And I'm showing him to you. I'm not by any means taking your faith away from you. So, thank you very much. I'm just going to show you one more time how obvious his face is here. And this group picture. There's his left eye. His right eye. You can even see his pupils here. Pupils. Pupils. His nose is green here. His mouth is orange here. Obey Jesus Christ. And he will let you see his omnipresent face and come for you and heal you and make you feel excellent all right thanks for the world cup ball i'm sure you spent all those hundreds of billions of dollars thinking of me thanks for the folder i'm not the folder thanks for the brochure <laughs>